this uh, 12th century building with Beckett's Chapel, used as a, as a church for guilds, and the, uh, each individual guild had to keep a candle burning for whatever reason. And uh, after the, uh, the uh, dissolution of the monasteries and the Reformation fell into disuse, it's been had several uses since then, including that of a school and a. Um, else was I've forgotten now. Uh, it was used as a coal house and a fire station uh, for the first fire brigade which had been 19th century and it was used as a library as well so it's, it's been used to several things. Possibly more useful than its original intention is. Uh, absolutely outstanding building there inside it. But you know, to see a bell frame like that, right, yeah. from something that hasn't been used for 450 years. Yeah. Wow. And not taken out. No, not taken out. Possibly because if you did... A structural. <laughs> what would happen to <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they've done a whole lot of awful sort of stuff uh, in the building when the, when the county council took over as a library in the 18, in 1940s. This heating thing that went through the top and all yeah, that sort uh, of stuff. Well, I suppose they wouldn't. But it's the styles of the mixture here. We've got this this thing here, which is what late Norman. This yeah, this, this arch. This arch, that's right. And the arch <laughs> is on the outside there, and then the yeah. canopy roof. And, and you think there was a that looks to be Norman. The wall is pretty thick. Yeah. Uh, which means, of course, you can't put <laughs> just like <laughs> a toilet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> With the pipes leading up. Oh, yeah. And there's, so there's pipes and there's junk and there's oh. accretions. We've got the, the oh, what's the word in English? Uh, um, the, the motifs, the, the mottos, the, the logos, I've got to remember the word yeah. on the wall. Yes, uh, you mean the graffiti? No, no, the, oh. the shields. Oh, the shields, shields. yeah. I'll, I'll, take, I'll talk you through those. Oh, go on, yes. Um, starting from this end. Yes. City of Norwich. Okay, right. Is that a lion on it? Uh, yes, there's a lion underneath the car. Oh, sorry. I'll explain why. Okay, Archbishop of Canterbury. Um, yeah. Just watch where you're going, Mr. Cameron, because we've got all this. Uh, yeah, this well, that's fair enough, no. <laughs> you've got to do work, has to be done. That's yeah. St. George. That's. I don't know why that one's here. City of London. Oh, City of London, oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> right. Yeah, City of London, Shield. Um, then this one Yes. And he, that family was uh, very heavily involved in running the school, chairman of governors and okay. so on. Okay. So that's gone perfectly recent. Uh, all of these, all of these shields right. went up in about 1880. Oh, okay, so right, the right. So it was made, think it was medieval no, or something. Oh, okay. No, well, they medieval shield because the, the, on, on the chevron there... Uh, She's with me. Um, <laughs> okay. On the chevron there's little, what they call gouges, little bits of blood. Yes. Uh, supposed to be given to the, uh, awarded to the family after the Battle of Argencourt. Okay, right. Uh, Which this, this area does have a, a lot of links with Argencourt. No, just the family. Okay, right. Just so the family. Erpingham, uh, uh, it was north of Norwich. Yeah, so that one, a, that one there is uh, University of Cambridge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll have to remember, remind myself, I can't remember which of these two is which college. But these are two of the Cambridge colleges. One's Corpus Christi yeah. uh, and the other is Christ's. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I'm not quite sure which is which. The one at the top on the east end there, of course, is the yeah. uh, Royal Arms. Yes. Um, that's the arms that have been used since Victoria. Before that, they were different. Okay. Oh, coming around, there's even more. Yes. One wow. in the corner is the town yeah. arms. Yes. Or an emblem, anyway. It's not necessarily arms. I don't think it's officially arms. It's just, yes. just cross wooden implements because it's a big wood carving town. This one here, which is halved, has got, you can see the artificial canopy one on the left as we look at it. Yes. And a bit, bit, bit obscured is the personal arms of Archbishop Parker, who was the original nosy Parker. He was oh, the, really? He was the Archbishop in oh. um, for Queen Elizabeth I, and one of his jobs was to go around and seek out the customs of people who were still, still worshipping in yes. the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. um, and so he, he gave, he was born in Norwich, mm -hmm. uh, and he. Um, what's quite, it was the master of 
one of the colleges. I'll get it wrong if I say without looking up, so I'm not going to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then later Vice Chancellor at, at, uh, at Cambridge. Mm -hmm. But he gave uh, scholarships yes. to this school and to an equivalent school um, north of Norwich to uh, the college in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why he's one of the benefactors. That's Oxford. Yes. The next one is Fairclough, the family Fairclough, and I have not the faintest idea why it's there. Yeah, I've seen that one before. Uh, yeah. I don't know where. Yeah, it's, 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 it's almost certainly the Fairclough family. That's what all the armorials suggest that it is. Mm -hmm. um, the next one along is the arms of the bishopric of uh, Norwich, the See of Norwich. Okay, oops, sorry. So uh, uh, that's just the three mitres. Um, the fleur de is the badge of the school. Yeah. Uh, and the one in the corner there is the... Uh, Earls of Arundel, the Dalvini family. Ah, built the uh, thing down there. The, That's, the right. Abbey. That's right. <laughs> yes. You'll see those arms down there, except these are yeah. reversed. These are the wrong way around. I don't know why. Yes. Maybe he's facing the wrong direction. Um, but it's almost certainly because it was his, the founder of the Abbey's grandson yes. who put this up in the 1170s. Yes, yes. Not that not as now, but the Norman building, yes. of course. Now. And so Bishop Parker, was he, uh, I thought this was actually closed at the time of the Oh, yeah, the it, it, it was closed at the t after the dissolution. But he still gave the scholarships to the school. Yes. So this, this was after the um, uh, Henry, uh, Edward the Sixth yep. closed all of the guilds, the religious yes. guilds, yes. and confiscated all the lands. Mm -hmm. They were nearly always given back to the town for schools. That's why you got this Edward ah, VI okay. grammar schools all around the country. Ah, okay, and right. And this was one of those. Yeah. Well, it makes sense to hand it back rather than destroy yeah. it. That's yeah, right, I agree. <laughs> and so that was there. And, and uh, uh, Parker... Um, I suppose had a feeling that this is what he should be doing. Yes. Um, gave scholarships to, to students and therefore seen as a benefactor of the school. Yeah. Oh, very good. Superb. Okay. If you look at, when you go outside, go yeah. across the street and look back. Yes. And you can see in the flint work mm -hmm. where the larger window was. And this yes. window has, was reduced in size in the 1870s. Who knows why? That yes. it was. Yes. <laughs> and, and of course, so this, this, this is amazing, this, this the, oh, the this structure, the, yeah. <laughs> the arch, internal arch yeah. with the, the bricked up wall outside. That's right, yeah. And it would have gone into a South Isle of some kind. Yeah. Amazing. So that's the, that's the brief outline of the place. Well, thank you. That was Probably. brilliant. Thank you. So standing outside the, uh, the former chapel, I don't know the right word, but we can see how the, the building <laughs> was changed. We've got this bricked up part hiding the arches inside. Uh, and we can, I think, ah, we see other bits of things that were existing once before. Now the window here has also been bricked up, but it's not so clear, maybe because of the, the, the flint cladding on the outside. But I get the impression that the building, the glass was actually bigger, the window was a bigger once before. Excellent, very nice place.